Hola a todas y a todos, una semana más estamos aquí en la entrevista de Eurovisión Sound. Esta semana tenemos con nosotros a una de las candidatas a representar a Gre Grecia en Eurovisión, que se llama Luis. Eh, good afternoon, Luis, how are you? Hello, I'm very well, nice to be here with you. Thank you for having us. Uh, so we are going to start talking a little bit about you because uh, you have a, a, a little career in music. Would you start if uh, I don't have uh, the mistake shift here? You start in 2018 and you have um, two songs, I think, in Spotify, which is yeah. a, a little bit Uh, a little uh, bit songs. So, um, talk us about your style. Why you start in music? Uh, what are your expectations? Uh, what do you want to do with your career? Well, actually, I have a long career in music. I have been working since I was still in school with uh, everybody in, in Greece, all the stars in studio and some participation, I was a featured artist and uh, concerts, tours, everything. Um, at some point I traveled to London, I lived there for a while and then I recorded an album which is not right now on the market because it, I made a big change in 2018 as you say. Uh -huh. So I, I changed my sound, I I worked very hard on some things and I was very strict with myself. So I'm trying to create this new person which is brighter, more free, ready to enjoy music and life and create new new things. So Eurovision for me is a very different step mm -hmm. than the ones I made in the past. It's something that I never thought I would do. And it's so exciting. I have no words to describe how I'm feeling. It's amazing. So 2018, uh, it was a reward more than an, yes, an start. Exactly. Um, exactly. I'm sorry about the mistake. But no, 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 <laughs> it's actually, it, you're very accurate. It's the one that I'm promoting, you know, because all mm -hmm. artists, we have things in the past. But I, I have a long career and I, I've done many incredible projects here in Greece and I, I feel at home when I'm on stage. So it's not a new thing for me. Uh, talking about uh, Greek music, uh, what is your position in the Greek music scene and what do you feel about the Greek music scene? I, well, it's interesting because it is changing a lot and I have changed position in it. In Greece, there's this big pop folk culture, which mm -hmm. I, I'm not really a part of. It's not something I'm good at. It's not my style. I was more into the, um, I don't know how to call it, um, a deeper, more, um, Not artistic, I don't know the exact how to pronounce but a more sophisticated, maybe I could say, uh -huh. style of music, more rock artists, less uh, Greek folk thing. That's not my style. And I also experimented with lots of styles of music like jazz and musicals and Argentine tango and songs from all over the world, uh, languages. I, I love it. So it's music is a big journey. And uh, right now, when there's a um, a shift and an opening up of the Greek market. There's a lot of artists who are writing songs in English mm -hmm. or changing and styles are kind of mixing. And it's it's very, it's very good. I think we're going towards an, a nice place. Um, I'm finding a new place in the sophisticated but pop type of music. So you are like a new kind of music in the Greek market right now because there Not is just no one me. like you. Well, I think that goes for everybody in a way. <laughs> Everyone is unique in their own way. Of course, no, of I course. mean, I mean that there is this new. There are a lot of other artists, even the ones that are candidates as well, uh, like mm -hmm. me, an artist that went to Eurovision, like this, uh, the girl Katerin Duska, who went two years ago. There's new artists that are are very popular and open-hearted but they are also they are not, they don't follow this 
folk, um, Greek folk, as we say, category thing. It's very fresh. It's a fresh, young sound, and I, I want to be, and I feel like I am part of it. Very nice. And you have talking about one of your competitors in the national uh, Greek preselection. What do you feel about them? Because uh, only have five candidates, and mm -hmm. I know all of you know each other. So, what do you feel about uh, about them? Actually, I only know one uh, one girl. I mean, I've known her for many years. Mm -hmm. I don't know them personally, the others. I It's this thing I told you, and I, I talked about it with my friends, and we all, f I feel honored in a way, and happy, and it's, a, it's an optimistic feeling because we are all young people with fresh sound and new ideas going into Eurovision. It's, there's a big change, and we, we're all around the same, Um, we have the same view of our music, I feel. So it's a very good group of people to be part of and really feels like the competition is which song is more powerful or feels like the one for this year. It doesn't mean if I go or if Good Job Nikki goes or if Joanna goes, it doesn't mean that the others were not, you know. I think it's a very close thing from what I understand. And already we we are five out of 40, so that's amazing if you think about it. And, and what do you feel about the, the national preselection? Because the last national preselection was um, controversial because of the of the result. And I think it was also in 1980 uh, with oh, yeah. with Diana. There's who what was the yeah, no, I think that was 2014. Eh? 2014? No, It's 2000, been a while. I I think because 18, all the people oh, I haven't really followed everything to be honest. Ah, don't, don't, be, don't worry. Uh, so what do you feel about this national preselection and, and what do you have in mind to to present your your entry? To be able work? to be honest, I I don't really like that televoting thing <laughs> because I do not trust the process I'm being completely honest there is a lot of things that are involved in how music business works and um, I'm not sure that's exactly what you say it's controversial yeah. I would really love it if people would get the chance to vote because I really feel good about my song And it would be nice if people get, would get to hear it. And I, I feel confident that they would really like it and think that it's very suitable for Eurovision. But I'm not sure that I, I prefer this process than the committee because the committee is made of, from mm -hmm. what I, I, I think I know some of the people and the one that called me and asked me if I would be okay with the national selection and stuff. Um, I know there are serious people with uh, knowledge and taste in music and they're not connected to labels and other people so it's a it's a, a good decision based, based on their judgment if you go out and you start putting mm -hmm. money and telephones and people yeah. get more people involved it's been many times discussed that it's not exactly a clean process so i don't know and and what do you feel about uh, the song and the performance do, uh, you are going to to give to give us um, and the and the concept and everything around the, your presentation well i cannot present you the concept yeah. but i well, can tell a little, you a little bit yeah, with, a little you bit i will make, tell yes us. Of, course, of course no it's something that i have never done before it's a, it's a song that i wrote which is very optimistic and positive not in a way of a transition from sadness, from the past, to something better and, you know, something good. And it's a decisive moment for me. And the whole thing, actually, it, it's a lot more extrovert and dancey and like a disco. It's, it's pretty much a disco song. Mm -hmm. It has an ABBA feel to it, which just happened. I was not planning and I was not planning to go to Eurovision, but this song came and me and the people I work with, we all said, you know what, 
this is perfect for Eurovision. <laughs> And Eurovision is a big and great step for someone like me to really open up to the world. And that's exactly what I feel. And especially after two years of lockdown and not working, being away from the audience, which is power and food to our hearts, you know, I live for that. I live for them, the connection with the people when I sing live. That's my best thing. That's. That's a lot easier for me to do. Studio work and writing, it's hard. No, he's coming. <laughs> um, there you go. Hey, say hello to your vision people. Say hello, Leo. Hello, mm. Leo. Hello, Leo. He's going to kill me now. No. <laughs> so, for the whole thing for me is just going out in the world and dance, you know, dance my heart out and express myself finally that I kept in quarantine for two years mm -hmm. and this is what we plan to do something happy and colorful and really expressive it's not just about dancing there is a meaning there's a story in my song nice. which i think is what makes is my characteristic that i i always need to have something to say it's not just about dancing and you know banging yeah. and going crazy i need to have a something to say that is real for me it's true that the past festival we have seen that the message and the artists uh, have to stay true to their essence and and mm -hmm. it's a very powerful uh, thing to to show to the people and it's very important what you are telling us and and what is your rel your relation with the festival? Um, I I know that um, you have told that you have not planned to, to go to the festival, but uh, you know it. And what is your relationship with it? I um I I've, I've known it forever. <laughs> I, I've, I mean, yeah, I've watched it every year ever since I was a little kid. Um, I remember things that I loved and that was exciting. Um, I didn't really feel that it's something that I could do. Even in high school when I was singing and my, my friends mm -hmm. were telling me, why don't you go to Eurovision? I never really thought that something that I can reach, you know, that it would be impossible. It's surreal to me that right now I'm in this position. I was so never expecting it. You are a little bit close right now, so... I am very close. <laughs> I mean, talking to you and I am discovering this whole world about your vision that I had no idea. People are so, they're in love with competition. I mean, just yeah. me, my name being connected a little bit and there's so much support and interest. It's overwhelming, really. It's amazing. It's, it's yes, it's really, it's overwhelming. And, and so about your vision, I have to ask you uh, a question that I ask everyone I, I interview. I have to ask you, what are your favorite entries, Greek entries, uh, first of all, and mm -hmm. then Spanish entries, if you remember someone, and the rest of international entries, if you... Well, only... Greek entries, I I really loved the one I mentioned before, uh, Katerin Duska's song, Better Love. I thought it was a very nice song. Mm -hmm. I... Um, uh, of course, the one that won. <laughs> Number one, Elena Paparizou was so... If she's great. It was so powerful and so just right there. Yeah. And what else? I, I don't really remember. There's some older ones. Uh, Sofia Vos, who I think was a nice yeah. one. She has an amazing voice. She was, she was great, quite, great. Yeah, she was great. And um, she has a little bit problem with the saxophonist or something. I re I can remember yeah, because I I, was, I met I her. Very young, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't really remember. <laughs> um, what else? And I, the other one that I liked was Saki Zruvas also. The, his participation was Shake uh, Shake 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 Two Shake times, Shake Me. Yes. But he was, he's also like, he's a star. You just yeah, see him yeah. and you know he's a star. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, it's yes, fine. I, do, do you remember yeah. any Spanish entry? That you like it? No, I'm really sorry, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I remember something, but I, I don't remember names and titles, to be honest. 
you know. But do you know any any Spanish music right now uh, who is uh, known for you? I don't know if you know Rosalia or someone. No. What? Rosalia? Rosalia. Well, I know. Ros no, no, I don't think so. Is the, is the biggest I... Spanish star right yeah. now? Well, I remember Bebe. And no, she was. Really? She was yes, she, yes. She, yes. yes. I'm impressed. Yes. And Luz Casal, of course. Really? And oh my God. I sing Spanish. Listen, I might not remember a, a, a Eurovision <laughs> contestant from Spain, but I, I love Spain. I love Spanish music. I sing in Spanish. I My brother-in-law is Spanish. I, I love your country. It's, it's a dream. That's why I, I, I want to sing in Spanish and speak Spanish. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite countries. I, so you, I don't remember your vision because I'm not so connected. I haven't. I don't worry. Don't worry. But artists and songs for sure. You are invited to come if you want to come here and, and come please again. call us to have a, a, a live interview. Where are you based? Uh, at Madrid. Oh, Madrid. Okay. I was yeah. there. We don't have uh, the sea, but uh, we have another thing. I here. was there. You have one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. I was like, how can this place be so beautiful? <laughs> I was there three years ago. And did four, you like it? Four. Of course. That's what I'm telling you. I loved it. I spent oh a God. week. And uh, so you are invited to come again if you want. And we can chat live and, and know course, it personally. Uh, um, yeah, one last thing, um, international entries that you love. International entries that I loved was um, Celine Dion, of course. She's, she raised me. <laughs> I, she will be my first love forever. And um, uh, what was his name? Duncan... Lawrence. Uh, Art Lawrence. The, the, yeah, with that song, Arcade. The minute I heard it, I thought, wow, mm, that, that's going to win. It was amazing. Um, I liked Meta's um, participation. That was quite um, different and eye-opening. She had a powerful message too. She has a very, so. yeah, she was powerful. The same like Maneskin last year, they were, they had a powerful message as well. And I like that entry by Australia with the uh, operatic voices. I found that yeah. very refreshing, <laughs> like something new. And of course, ABBA, okay? You know, ABBA is... There's it's a classic. nothing like ABBA. ABBA are geniuses of world music. Very nice. And, yeah. Very nice choices. So that's all. Um, we are wishing you the best of the lacks. Uh, in Thanks. the national press selection and we send you a message of love and and we hope you see you again as the greek uh, candidate to to win eurovision in, <laughs> to win in, eurovision. <laughs> in Turin. yes i would love to go to Turin. yes it would be lovely thank you so much for this thank you it's so a pleasure much. for me to be able to talk about it and Nos vemos en España, espero. <laughs> We hope so. Thank you so much. I want to cry and say, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay.